Uh, this is Dasha Dave here, um, aka Crafty Moose, um, aka Dave. Um, that's it. I've got, I've got no more aliases. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I haven't. Um, so uh, you might want to call me something else. Uh, sorry about the gluey fingers, by the way. I've just finished. I've literally just finished this. Um, so I'm introducing you to um, my Davenport um, journal folio thing that I've been working on the last couple of days. I think I started it... Um, oh, I started it just after my live, um, which was last Sunday. I uh, did a live um, Facebook video. I do one every week um, for uh, the craft um, group that I belong to. And, sorry, I can't get my words out. Um, <laughs> nothing new there, is there? Um, yeah, so I started it uh, at the end of that and I did an hour there, so then... Afterwards, I tied it up and then I started this. So, um, been working on it for a week, um, and I kind of just wanted to kind of just kind of stop kind of using kind of maybe. Um, no, <laughs> just wanted to show you this journal. Okay, so if you can see some washi tape here, on, and you might be able to see it here and here. Okay, that's just my reference points, just so that I know whether you're in shot, out shot. Who knows, having a shot. So this is the, the outside. So um, this is literally just uh, some, you know, um, some decoupage, some layer, layered up paper. And we've got a uh, fabric spine um, frayed uh, for that vintage feel with a nice spine down, down the back of it. This is actually made out of a uh, suspension file folder uh, so you know suspension files um, very common in the UK um, and they often get thrown away uh, our organisation throws loads of away because once the the suspension wiry bit that they hang on the has bent then they're right neither use nor ornament I cut that bit off as soon as I possibly can because it's got like a really sharp bit on the inside when I catch my nail on it. It's like, oh, it makes me go, Ugh. so you can tell what my face is doing if I'm doing this with my hands. Anyway, moving on. So uh, you didn't come for the entertainment, did you? So uh, I'll talk you through some of the other things. So um, the reason why I've called it Davenport um, is because the um, I, I bought a vintage one of these. Oh dear, I've just moved everything now. Um, bought a vintage one of these doesn't quite stamp so it's got a few extra layers on it to make it make it punch um and it's one of those uh this is a piece of craft metal by the way it's one of those things that you do this and you get an imprint okay so they often use them in offices so put it off ebay there you go so i just thought um i'd call it davenport uh i've made some fake sellotape i will be doing a bit of a tutorial on making Fake sellotape, making it, and it also has that crinkly feel like like real sellotape. Um, so yeah, um, so a bit of fake sellotape. Um, I've decoupaged up the front, um, and then um, just used a bit. It's made to look quite utilitarian, you know, like um, like very forty style. We've kind of just like grabbed everything we possibly can, put it all together. The um, ribbon is not really ribbon. Um, it actually says medium on it, so clearly I bought that a long time ago because uh, I haven't bought anything that says medium on it for a long time. Um, and so then it opens out uh, like this, So, and it also open, opens out again like this. Now, I won't open it completely because it will go out of shot, um, and I'll open it in a minute. So let's have a look at this side. So what we've got is we've got a few tuck spots here uh, with various things in it. Um, you know, just these are all just basically little note cards for people to write on. Uh, I've got another one here with a rusted um, paper clip. Okay, and then we've got a flip down here with another little card on it uh, for people to be able to write on in there. Just adding little points of interest, um, and then open this side up and move it over. We've got a, a tuck envelope here, so you can tuck something in here, um, and then this just flips out by uncatching it from there and open it up and it's got a little tuck spot up the side here so be able to put some notes in and whatever okay 
So, and then we have just a quirky little thing that I did with um, a Polaroid frame. So a faux Polaroid is what I call them, Polaroids. I don't know whether that's actually actually a name. And if it isn't, hashtag Dave um, or hashtag Dash of Dave um, came up with it. Um, so <laughs> shut up, Dave. Um, so yeah, so this has just got a little journal card in there. And you could, of course, put any like card that you want to put in there. So it could be like a... You know, favorite child or you shouldn't have favorites should you sorry um one of your children or all of your children or your fur child so anyway moving on there's another little tuck space in here um and then this is an envelope with you know just place space to write some notes in so i just took that back in okay so that just folds back up again and then just tucks back into that l and the reason why it says l is because it's lavender um or oh well oh l We've got to open that up again. Um, anyway, then we've got uh, a couple of envelopes. So these are just some tea dyed envelopes that I've done. Um, I think this one is actually a coffee dyed envelope and this one's a tea dyed envelope. Again, a bit of uh, my classic decoupaging that I do. Um, it's just a, an envelope here. So you can, you know, whatever you put in, you'll see through the window. Um, then there's another one here, again, decoupaged up. Again, with another pocket here. Um, this is yet to be finished. So this isn't actually um, completed, but this is one of the things that I'm going to be doing a tutorial on when it is completed. Um, and that's just a little um, folio that goes in there. I'm sorry, it's a little, it's actually an, an envelope. So you've got plenty of places to tuck and hide and not you, tuck and hide. Tuck and roll, Any when in doubt, tuck and roll. Um, yeah, so there's that um and so this little pocket just flip it over that way dave um doesn't matter which way it's just a preference uh then we've got um obviously just a spine here then we've got a little tuck spot here um with just a little journal card in again some of that um photo sellotape um a few little things there a little note card here uh for you to be able to right on um and then this is another tea dyed um building envelope um then we've got another tuck spot here okay you're just using um scrap clusters um and then we've got a little magnetic um file folder here so you just open this up with a magnet okay and it's got a little so it says notes totes and quotes um on it so because it has to rhyme, um, and then that you see that just like it's a very satisfying clasp, isn't it? A magnetic clasp. I'd be for a good job. I don't have a handbag because I'd be forever playing with it. Um, and then just on this side, we've got another little tuck space here. We've got another um, pocket down the side here. We've got um, open this up, and it's a gusseted envelope with just a concertina um, notebook in there. Um, pop that back um, and then we've got a little card to write on there and that's it so then that just folds back up again just tie it up to keep it closed um, nobody wants to see me really tie anything on camera because it oh no it went right that's fine okay so yeah so this is Davenport so just wanted to kind of introduce you to it um, it's very much in on my kind of scale of the kind of things that I do, very uh, utilitarian, very um, rustic kind of looking. Um, if you, you know, it's rustic in a good way, not like rustic. When somebody gives you rustic mashed potato, what they mean is it's lumpy. Okay, so just, just pointing that out. Okay, so anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, thank you for having a uh, tuning in and, and seeing my little walkthrough. Um, I'm going to end like I end every every video um, with uh, just want to say thank you very much. Um, if you like this, please like, subscribe and follow my channel. Um, if you're on YouTube, of course, um, please share it as well. Happy for you to share it. Don't Please don't plagiarise it, though. I'd be grateful if you didn't plagiarise it. Um, this is Dave, a dash of Dave, just in case you're trying to like edit me out of it. Um, and I, um, I just want to say thank you very much. Crafty hugs to everybody. Big kisses. Mwah.
Mwah. Genuinely love you all um, until you give me a reason not to. Um, so <laughs> uh, thank you very much. You have a lovely evening, day, afternoon, morning, um, midnight, whatever time it is with you when you're watching this. Have a lovely one. Please take care of yourself. Crafty hugs to everybody and please stay safe. That that little virus is not going away. Please take it seriously. Look after yourselves. And I will see you in another video. Probably with a tutorial. And if anybody wants to know how to make any of this, let me know. Put it in the comments below. Because even unless you comment, I don't know. I'm not psychic. I'm a medium. I'm not a medium in that way. I'm not even a medium anymore. I'm an extra large. Anyway, moving on. Take care. <laughs> Too much information. And I'm off. Mwah! Another kiss. Cheeky. Get on. And see you soon. Bye.